What it do? It's shot Glizzy and I came to hold y'all hostage on civil TV. Bang bang. Swish, I'm bound. Southeast where I'm from, 37th Street. Pretty much shit rough out here, man. We in them trenches. That's where I grew up, born and raised. Been out this bitch my whole life. I just give people hope, man. We really coming from none. Rent ain't shit, but like, man, rent ain't no more than a hundred dollars around this bitch. I mean, guns. Oh no! Stop, Shaq. <laughs> Hey, no, I'm trying to get, um, damn, I want some candy. You always want some candy. <laughs> now I want some gummies. Give me some geckos, two, two, um, purple ones. And what else you get? That's it. I can't really do this sweet. I already know. She definitely serious. <laughs> this one better you come in my candy lady and steal my candy and everything. <laughs> It's on one of his songs. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> Southeast D.C., the yo. This is where I was born and raised at, 37th Street, right off Minnesota Avenue. You could do your history, man. I mean, you know, it's just like any other hood. Shit just a little bit more real around here on the south side. It's the real D.C. It's where you had to grow up early at, man. You had to be a man at the age of 14. 13, 15, take care of your mother. My, I grew up with a single mom, you know what I'm saying? I used to live in my grandmother's house right across the street. You know, it helped me to get where I'm here today, though. Shit, Glizzy. Shit, I'm the streets hottest youngin'. It ain't really hard to tell. I'm just a young dude trying to motivate other young dudes that come from nothing. I come from nothing. And a couple people motivated me, you know what I'm saying? A couple people that motivated me was my uncle, my dad. I ain't know my dad, but just hearing the stories about him, I knew I took after him, like. <laughs> and I know he'd be proud of me. Like, just street dudes, Richie Porter. I like big ballers, big meats. Shit like that. That's the type of stuff that motivated me. You can hear it in my music. Like, I ain't even look up to no rappers. I looked it up to like Kingpin, Street Nigga, shit like that. I do me. I stay, I stay out the way. Get money. Make my music. That's all I'm trying to do. Make good music. Do good with my people. You feel me? I put in a lot of hard work to get to where I'm at. And the last shit changing, like the city not the same. DC just all fucked up right now. Like, real niggas is at an all time low right now. So I'm really trying to bring that back. I'm trying to bring the face. I'm trying to bring. DC ain't never been seen. So I'm just trying to make that happen. See, a lot of my. None of my niggas seen 21. I just turned 21, ain't none of my niggas saying 21. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm living it up for all of you. Lizzie gang, man, that's, that's, we the streets. That's the movement. That's what I'm running with, that's, that's everything to me. That's what I built up from nothing. Like, no nigga can't take the credit for this shit, man. I put in hard work to keep this name alive. Big Glizzy. Young niggas coming from nothing. I just motivated niggas. Left to right. Like niggas don't even rap for real. But I'm make I'm giving niggas something to do other than just be out here, you know what I'm saying? Ain't shit out this bitch, man. Bitch dried up. Ain't no junkies out here. Young niggas wildin'. Shit real out here. Ain't no time for play out here, man, so. I ain't rushing into no situation. I'm getting good money for my shows. No hating policy over this bitch, man. We ain't hating on no niggas. Shout out to all the haters, though, man. I'ma just run it up on them. Run it up on the ass anyway. Young Hefe, iTunes, livemixtapes.com.
Bitch about to be at a million views. I mean, I ain't know it was gonna happen like this, but it happened. Now we want to show the world. I think that's what Boosie said. <laughs> we have been a starter. This is where I basically grew up in. Outside the hood, this was the only place that I came in as a child. Um, a lot of memories in here. Me and all my homeboys grew up here. My whole neighborhood grew up here. You ain't even from my neighborhood if you ain't grew up here. My first musical experience, I experienced my first musical experience right here at Ben Starter. They had a talent show. I was like eight years old. They had a talent show in the parking lot. Whole hood here, like, it was crazy, flooded. And I think, like, back then, um, we, me and my homeboys, we won big on rap, so it was like go go. And we had came up here and performed um, three in the morning in the pancake house. Four in the morning, shit, we rolled up to my house. That shit was the loudest song in DC streets at the time. Came down here and performed that shit. Turned it out, we won. I was like eight years old. My only, my first trophy. I got incarcerated on some juvenile shit. And then like, I was just getting in a bunch of trouble. And my uncle used to rap. He from Overbury Farms. His name's Sterling. They call him Stu. And he just, it was great. He was like the greatest rapper I heard, like, realest rapper. And I knew he was living it. I used to see it on a daily basis. And it just inspired me to just put my life into that shit. Like, I was like, damn, he got deceased in 03, 20 years old. And now I'm 20, and I'm shining just like he was. You know, that shit just in my blood. But I'm living his dream, so that's all that mattered to me. And that was my biggest musical influence, my uncle. Nobody else really can't get to me. Like, they don't make them like, they don't make them like us from here no more. Like, a real DC nigga, once you get you a real DC nigga, man, I'm telling you, the whole game gonna be fucked up. They ain't never seen no shit like it. DC niggas is great, man. We great. Just take a good one to show you all that, man. And I feel like I'm going to do that. Um, awesome. We finished that shit. We was in this bitch one night just half, getting half. And um, it actually came from my ad lib that I always send on my songs, like my signature. Ah, oh, that's why we spell it A-W-W instead of A-W-E. We came up, I just came up with the idea just, I liked it the beat. EA came with that heat, and then I just got on there, did my thing. Yeah, I remember that night. I mean, Shy basically did what he usually do, turn on the beat, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Got in the booth, started vibing to it, and, like, immediately he, he, he knew it was a hit. I knew it was a tight song. I, I'd be honest with you, because I like everything they usually be doing, but I didn't know it was going to be as big as it was uh, until, you know what I'm saying, we started doing the mixing on it, and I was like, okay, yeah, I think we got one for sure. But Sean, like you said, he knew it that first night or whatever. So, you know, but that's like a everyday thing in the studio. We knock off all these four or five bangers. So, you know, I won't surprise that the outcome. You know what I'm saying? You got a good following, good sound. So it just, it was just, I guess, proper preparation meets a uh, good timing, equals success. Yeah, I knew the song was going to be a hit when I did it because I was in here all night jumping up and down. I was like, oh, yeah, we got one with this. Then we put it out as the first single off uh, Young Hefe. Cause I was like, man, I had to put that straight out. There was no way I could hold that. So I knew that was one of the undeniable ones. They caught straight on to it. It's out of here now. Big Glizzy, right here on Civil TV. Shout out to Current Civil and CurrentCivil.com. Glizzy Gang the Movement. Salute the streets for rocking with me. Young Hefe, 100. Swish, I'm ballin', I'm so awesome, oh, bitch keep callin', she think I'm awesome, Jack wanna rob me, I'm 
I'm so awesome. I'm here like a boss. I'm so, I'm so awesome. I'm so fucking awesome. I'm so awesome. I'm so fucking awesome.